buckle up and lean in because today I'm going to help you take your dishes to the next level. I'm going to show you how to elevate your dishes without changing the recipe, but changing what you put on top. Today, we're talking toppers and elevated toppers. You put this on top of your dish after it's made. Toppers will add interest, taste, and textures, and let you put your creative stamp on the dishes that you serve. Today, I'm gonna to show you some of my favorites. Hey there, I'm Terry with Globally Delicious, and I share, share tips on creating a plant-based lifestyle that goes beyond just recipes. If that's something that you're into or want to be into more, hit the subscribe button below and look for a new video every week. And if you have something that you're struggling with on your journey to be 100% plant-based, comment below and I'll help you. Have you ever noticed your dish generally comes with something extra on the top of it when you dine out? There's usually a sauce smeared under your entree, something sprinkled on top, or something extra added like a pop of color or interest on the side of the dish. There are two reasons for this. First, it adds visual interest and we start eating with our eyes. When our eyes see food, our brains have many pre-learned responses about what food tastes like. Ironically, our sense of taste is not the first sense that engages when we eat. The second reason is that what is on top of the dish can add to the mouthfeel of the food. For example, something crunchy adds texture, something sour adds a surprise burst on our palate, or something sweet makes us want more. Today we'll talk about how to make your dish special and give it a pop of flavor. There's this crazy rumor out there that plant-based food is boring. Vegetables are boring. They're bland. There are two ways to fix that. First is adding more season to your dishes while you're cooking, or the other, what we're gonna to cover today, is adding something of interest to the top. Adding toppers to your dish is the easiest way to elevate your dish without changing anything about the recipe. I like to think of toppers in three levels. First, the basics. Think fresh herbs, lemon juice, a good quality balsamic vinegar, or crushed nuts. These are easy things that everyone has on hand. Fresh herbs can bring out the flavor of almost any dish. A little lemon juice squeezed on top can do everything from brightening a bland dish to calming the flame of too much spice. These take just a few minutes and are things that are easy to keep on hand. You can vary these by cuisine or by season. For example, pine nuts pair nicely with Italian or Mediterranean dishes. Sesame seeds pair well with Asian dishes. Or you can make seasonal choices such as pomegranate seeds in the fall and winter, sliced radishes in the summer. These basic toppers can make even the simplest foods special, like adding sliced radishes to the top of avocado toast. That's one of my favorite moves in the summer. The next level of toppers takes a little more thought. In this category, I think of sliced avocado, salsa or some other sauce, sauerkraut, kimchi, or even toasted nuts. This group takes a little more thought, even if it's just to ensure that you have this ingredient on hand from the store. Avocados will add creaminess to salads, grain bowls, or even diced on top of a soup. Sauerkraut will add texture and a sour taste. Kimchi will also add texture, spice, and that savory umami taste. As an added bonus, both sauerkraut and kimchi are great probiotics to help your gut health too. While these are easy to add, they take a little more thought because you need to make sure you have them on hand or toast the nuts, for example. Toasting nuts is so easy. Just heat the pan and get it hot enough that a drop of water will dissipate. Then add your nuts Shake them or use a spoon for a few minutes until they are fragrant. These nuts will intensify in their nutty flavor and they'll become crispier. As with the basics, think about pairing by cuisine and season. 
And finally, let's get into elevated toppers. These take a little bit more preparation, but they are still really easy and I promise you they are totally worth the effort. Today I'm going to share with you my five favorite elevated toppers. Preserved, lemo, preserved lemons, pickled onions, caramelized onions, dukkha and Egyptian spice, and peppered pecans. While preserved lemons will take about six weeks to cure, they are worth the wait. You just need some lemons and kosher salt. Add a healthy dose of salt to each lemon and pack them snugly into your jar. Add lemon juice to the top and any seasoning if using. Store these in the fridge and if you're using a leak-proof jar, shake or turn them upside down every week. Start enjoying them in about six weeks if you can wait that long. They will last for about a year. Both the pulp and peel are edible. My favorite way to use is on top of soups and stews, on a grain dish, on top of hummus, or on any Mediterranean, Moroccan, or Middle Eastern dish. Another idea is to add the juice to salad dressings or anything that just needs a flavor boost. Be careful, they are totally addictive. Preserved lemons are my favorite elevated topper. When I think of pickled onions, I immediately think of using them on top of Mexican food, but there are many other uses. Start by thinly slicing the red onions. You want to make sure they are really thin. You can use any onion, but the red ones are really pretty. Then to a pan, add vinegar, water, and sugar and bring to a boil. Add the sliced onions and cook until they're just wilted, about three minutes. Today I'm using garlic and I added the garlic to the boiling vinegar. You can add variety by changing up the spices you use or change them to include your favorites. Add the onions to a jar with any seasoning and pour the liquid over the onions. Cool first and then store in the refrigerator. These are good on top of salads, vegan burgers, avocado toast, sandwiches, or really anything that needs just a crunchy extra. Like preserved lemons, you can use the juice in dressings or sauces. Keep some on hand to elevate your dishes. Caramelized onions are the easiest of the five. All you need is an onion, olive oil, and good quality balsamic vinegar. Oh yeah, and time. You need time. This is not a quick fix. These caramelized onions will take about an hour and a half to make, and I like to check on them every 15 minutes just to stir them. The most important thing is to cook them over a low heat. They don't require much effort or ingredients, and they are delicious. The good news is you can make a big batch ahead of time and store them in the refrigerator for up to five days. They will add a sweet, unique flavor to your dishes. Every time I use them as a topper, I get asked what they are or how they were prepared. They don't even look like onions if you cook them down enough. The balsamic brings out a natural sweetness and your dishes will pop with these on top. Use them on top of soups, tarts, roasted vegetables, hummus, or salads for a special savory sweet taste, and they look pretty too. Dukkha can be made with various nuts, seeds, and spices. Traditional ingredients are starred. This traditional Egyptian spice comes together quickly and can be added to the top of hummus, avocado toast, sandwiches, or salads. Use it in conjunction with breadcrumbs or on top of roasted vegetables. I like to use it on top of chia seed pudding or oatmeal. Make a big batch and store it in an airtight container. Peppered pecans are one of my family's favorites. While these are good just for munching, they are also an excellent topper. Make sure you gather your ingredients and have them ready to go. 
If you don't want to crush the peppercorns, look for coarse ground pepper. Make sure your pan is hot enough to dissipate a drop of water before you begin. Then add your nuts and cook until they start to color and fragrant. You'll want to make sure the nuts are really hot or the sugar mixture won't melt properly. When the nuts are hot enough, add one half of the sugar mixture. Mix until the sugar is melted. Stir constantly to keep from burning. Remove slightly from the heat if needed. As soon as the first half has melted, add the rest of the sugar mixture and stir well again, stirring constantly. When that is melted, immediately remove it from the heat and turn out onto a baking dish or ceramic plate. Do not use foil or parchment paper. Let it cool enough to touch and then break apart. You can store this in an airtight container, but you might have to hide them or they won't last until you want to use them. These nuts pair nicely on top of a pear and arugula salad, grain bowls, rice dishes, or roasted pumpkin. These are sure to become a holiday favorite and also make a nice hostess gift. I hope these ideas help elevate your dishes and inspire you to create some of your own toppers. Do you want to start your day with healthy comfort food and have some fun ideas to add toppings to your breakfast? Grab your free ebook, Plant Based Breakfast Boost, with ideas on how to top your healthy breakfast, have it be nutritious, and have a ton of fiber to take you through to lunch. Link is in the show notes. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, like and subscribe for more tips every Tuesday on how to be successful on your plant-based diet journey.